Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. Today I will be sharing 16 best command prompts CMD command for Windows 10 and Windows 11. These are the command that you should know and these are the command that you may need to fix many problems and to check your uh, computer performance or for the basic purpose. So let's start with the first one that is Control plus C. This is the command that you can use to cancel any running command. So let me open the command prompt first. I open it as administrator. The black window comes up. So if I run any command and if I want to cancel it, so I can use a command that is control plus C. Let me explain you that if I run a command that is NETSTAT. And if I want to stop it, then I will press control C and you can see that the command has been quitted, right? So this is a very useful command. You should know that while running any command and in between, if you want to cancel it, then you can use this command. The next one is log off. You just need to type L O G O F F. And as soon as you hit enter, the computer will be logged off. This is a very useful command that you should know to quickly log off your computer. And sometime if the power button doesn't show up, and if you want to log off, you can log off with this method. Similarly, there is another command to shut down your computer for which you have to type shut down space forward slash ns. This is the command. Once you enter this, hit enter, the computer will be shut down. All right. So these are the basic command that you should know. The next one is task list. So let me show you if I type task list. So it will show you the list of all the tasks running and kind of a uh, space they are occupying. So this is a kind of task manager. If you're not open, not able to open it, then you can see the task with this method. So if I scroll down, you can see that all the tasks are displayed like registry and will log on and you can see the memory usage. All right, now the next two is the very important command. That is a very useful command that you should run at least twice a month or at least once in a month that is chk dsk so you have to type chk then dsk and this command basically check the disk and find out any errors issues and try to fix it so you have to type chk dsk then hit enter and you will see that it will start uh, looking for the progress and give you the report and finally, it will found the errors and try to resolve it. All right. This is a very useful command that you should know. And as I said, that you should run it at least once or twice a month so that it can find some errors and fix the problem. All right. So now the next is another very useful command, very popular command that is SFC scan now. So you have to type here SFC space forward slash scan now then hit enter now what this command does this will be scanning all your system files operating system the memory the disk and if there is any integrations violation or any kind of errors it will try to resolve it so you have to wait as you can see the verification is 100 or 12 percent completed you have to wait until it's been 100 percent completed and once done, it will give you the message that was there any integrity violation founded or not. All right. So you can check according to it. If there are any issues, it will automatically fix it. All right. So now the next command will be disk part. So you can just type disk part and this will take you to the disk part. And now from here, you can just type list disk. And this will show you the disk available on your a computer you can see i have two disks disk zero and disk one so the second one disk one is my usb and disk zero is my main ssd drive all right so this is how you can check that how many disk has been inserted to your computer all right so the next command is ver so if you type ver it will show you the version of your microsoft it says Microsoft Windows version 10.0. So this is the version if you need uh, while doing some kind of troubleshooting or some kind of information, then you can look with this simple command. The next command is system info. So just type system, then info and hit enter. 
and this will be loading the hyper-v information load all the information and it will show all kind of information that what is the os name like microsoft windows 10 pro then the version the manufacturer registered owner and then you can look for system manufacturer motherboard then you can look for the processor bios version boot device and your total physical memory that is your ram virtual memory so these all the information are loaded here you can check from here then you can also check your network card what kind of network card you have and also the hyper-v requirements this is another very useful command to find out the information about your pc all right so we will move with the next one which is the some kind of uh, network commands so you have to type ip config give a space then forward slash then type all hit enter and this will display all kind of network adapters with all kind of uh, details so if i scroll up you can see that it says a windows ip configuration host name then we have ethernet adapter then we have wireless wi-fi adapter so it shows you the physical address dhcp enabled or not so if you want to check your network configurations about the network adapter you can just use this command all right so the another network command is ipconfig flush dns so most of the time you may have heard about this command that can be used to flush your dns if you have any issues related to your network this is a very useful command you have to type ipconfig space forward slash then flush dns hit enter and this will successfully flush the dns resolver cache so many time you have any kind of network issues and some kind of install during some kind of installation while opening any website multiple ways if you have any issues related to the network or dns this command is very useful now another command that we have is netsh winsock reset so if there is any problem with the network again well the connectivity with the internet connection with your wi-fi with your ethernet as well then you can run this command this will be reset, resetting the windsock setting of your computer and the network adapter all right so the next command is ping this is a very useful command to find out that whether you are getting a connectivity from any website or not so let's say that i have trouble opening uh, google.com so you can find out that whether there is a connectivity between you and google or not or if there is any kind of a uh, computer problem so you have to type ping then type www.google.com now this can be any website for whichever you want to check so let's say if you have trouble opening any website you can type the name of that website here and then hit enter and if you get a reply like on my end you can see that i'm getting a reply from this uh network so it means there is no problem between the connectivity and still if you're not able to open that website probably there is a problem with your uh, computer so you have to go and reset your browser settings or whatever you want to so this only tell you that whether your network is able to connect to that website or not so if you are getting a reply back it means everything is fine all right now there is another advanced ping tool that is tracer t and then you have to type the name of that website again so let's say www.google.com and then it will show you that what kind of connectivity with how many router you are getting the connections okay so this is an advanced networking tool i'm just telling you so in case anytime if you need then you should know how to run it so now our next command is net wlan this is a very useful command so you have to type netsh nesh then wlan show profiles now i will tell you that for what purpose this command is used for so after typing this hit enter and this will show you that what kind of network what kind of wi-fi ssid is connected to your computer okay so these are the three Wi-Fi name, three kind of SSID that was being connected to my computer. 
okay so let's say that if you have forgotten the password for any one of them so how you have to find out you have to type another command that is netsh then wlan show profiles show profile then you have to type the name name then you have to use the equal sign and here you have to type the name of the wi-fi which for which you want to know the password so let's say i want to know with this one the last one so i will type that name s h a h that is my name b a z and after that give a space and type key then type equal sign then type clear now do not worry about the command this all command you will find in the description box all right now you can see that i got the password here so you will see in the security settings and in the key content you will see the password so this is the password of my ssid my wi-fi all right so this is a very useful command that if you want to know the uh, wi-fi password that you have forgotten which was being connected to your computer so this way you can easily find it now the last command is some kind of a tricky command and you have to type here prompt so what this command will do like you can see that i'm getting c colon backslash user backslash asus uh, before running a command so if you want to run this just to have some fun then then you have to type prompt to give a space and type anything that ever you want so it can be type here okay so you can see that it will show you type here okay and now you can run any kind of command whichever you want like i want to run any testat so this will work absolutely fine okay similarly if i go back you can see that i'm not getting this name here the c users asus every time i want to run a command it will show you type here okay this can be anything this can be some kind of name any kind of quotation so make sure that it's not too lengthy so that it can come uh, within uh, two or three words so you can just use this command to have some fun with your uh, friends or with your family members so that's all guys today these were the 16 best a uh, useful command prompt command for your windows 10 and windows 11 that you should know you should make a note of it because you will surely need some time in the future while troubleshooting or for some educational purpose so that's all guys if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and i will get back to you soon thank you so much